I've been interested in the figurative form really since I was about five or six years old when, you know, I came across my first image of a beautiful uh, nude under a waterfall. That's a funny story for another time, but to say what's going on in this work right now, it's a continuation of the last few years where I've been describing these works as an extension of the Venus reborn phenomenon. And what I'm alluding to with those words and terms is this notion of the God form being represented as a feminine entity. And when I say feminine, I'm approaching this narrative where we can look at God as a consciousness, not in a male or female perspective, rather a feminine or masculine energetic dynamic. And this has been an interest of mine as I explore energy, consciousness, and the social manifestation or the societal reflection of our collective consciousness and in the way it unravels itself. And when I look at the last few years of life on the planet and as this world village gets smaller and smaller, my efforts have been focused on bringing more of the dynamics of the divine feminine energy force into play as they represent archetypally cooperation, community, compassion, communication. These co-words, coexistence, all dynamics of a unity field or a more harmonious, integrated life experience. And therefore, this expression of figurative art based on the feminine form has been a significant exercise. And this particular piece, which I'm referring to as Venus of Tomorrow Today, is playing on the Aphrodite sculpture uh, created uh, Venus de Milo that many remember. This image is following inspiration, the, po the poses created that way. And interestingly, this image started from a photograph with a good friend, beautiful close friend, who collaborates with us in the studio, posed for this project, standing in the Venus de Milo pose, as you can see by the emphasis of posture and hand positions and even headdress. So, but what you have here, Venus of tomorrow today, it's a projection deploying into the future, uh, an exploration of this hybridization with the robotic or the machine, the neural link technologies that are being explored today with brain chips and integrated hardware into the body as we're getting closer and closer to these concepts becoming a reality. So this piece is looking at this romantic classical art form, but integrated into a robotic sculptural possibility. And with that, we're also expressing the timeline of now. So Within this piece, you're having these components of past, present, and future tying together these dynamics of creative expressionism, meaning tools of today that are allowing for such manifested art form, meaning there is photography, there is painting, there is digital technologies, including artificial intelligence and 
photogrammetry, which is the use of cameras to capture three-dimensional objects to create a three-dimensional digital form. We have watercolor. We have really an expression of the art forms that have revealed to us through centuries, congealed into one dynamic manifested vision of the feminine goddess archetype, Venus of tomorrow, today.